Welcome music enthusiasts. Join us as we delve into the captivating journey of Pauli Fuamana, from band OMC, in The Life and Tragic Death of OMC, Pauli Fuamana. From humble beginnings to international fame, this is a story that transcends music. So let's dive in. Paul Lawrence Fuamana, born on the 8th of February 1969 in Auckland, New Zealand, emerged into the world as the youngest of four children to parents Takiula Fuamana and Olivia Hohaya. His diverse heritage painted a cultural mosaic, with roots extending to both Nauian and Maori descent. Takiula, hailing from Mutilau, Niue, embarked on a journey that led him to New Zealand, where he would lay the foundation for a family that would later produce a musical luminary. Olivia, with her Taranaki Maori lineage, contributed to the rich tapestry of Paul's identity. From his early days in Auckland, Paul Fuamana's trajectory would transcend the ordinary, carving a path into the world of music that would leave an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. In the crucible of a challenging and poverty-stricken childhood, Paulie sought solace and joy in the harmonies of music, crafting melodies alongside his brothers. His early years were steeped in the rhythms of Nauian, his first language, shaping a worldview tinted with the nuances of Polynesian culture. From this crucible emerged the rap trio and collaborative musical endeavor, the Otara Millionaires Club, affectionately known as OMC. The inception of the Otara Millionaires Club, masterminded by elder brother Phil Fuamana, unfolded as a musical legacy passed down to Pauli Fuamana. The name, laden with irony and a touch of humor, playfully reflected the socio-economic backdrop of Otara, one of Auckland's most economically challenged neighborhoods. Pauli, later streamlining the band's identity to OMC, forged a musical alliance with Alan Jansen, co-writing and producing the iconic How Bizarre album. Under the aegis of Auckland's independent label Ha Records, helmed by Simon Grigg, OMC catapulted to global stardom in 1996 and 1997 with the chart-topping single, How Bizarre, from their debut album of the same name. The monumental success of How Bizarre, crowned single of the year at the 1996 New Zealand Music Awards, transcended borders, seizing the number one spot in countries like Australia, Austria, Canada, Ireland, and New Zealand. Fuamana, in discussing the song's narrative, revealed his penchant for embedding hidden stories, inviting listeners to decipher the nuances rather than spelling out the incidents, as exemplified by his encounter with the law recounted in a 1997 Reuters interview. Despite a hiatus in recording between 1998 and 2005, OMC, along with Jansen, reunited to create For All of Us, a single featuring Lucy Lawless, with Fuamana directing his share of the royalties to the Race Relations Commission. Not long after Fuamana declared bankruptcy in 2006, Paul Fuamana's life, marked by both triumphs and challenges, concluded tragically with his untimely demise on January 31, 2010, at the age of 40. The cause of his death was respiratory failure stemming from a prolonged battle with chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, a debilitating neurological condition with similar symptoms to multiple sclerosis. His health had been deteriorating over several years, compounded by a bout of pneumonia in the months leading up to his passing. Survived by his wife, Kirstine Fuamana, whom he married in 2002, and his six children, Fuamana's funeral, held on February 5, 2010, at the Pacific Island Presbyterian Church in Newton, New Zealand, drew a gathering of 200 mourners, including notable figures like rappers Day Hammer, Ermen, and Daryl Thompson, alongside Alan Jansen, Simon Grigg, Nathan Hines, and Len Brown, the mayor of Auckland Super City. The enduring legacy of How Bizarre persists, with the song still resonating globally more than 27 years after its release. The album of the same name achieved remarkable success, selling over a million copies, and OMC secured the 34th spot on the APRA Top 100 New Zealand Songs of All Time. And there you have it. As we bid farewell to this musical odyssey, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos from the music world. The legacy of OMC lives on and so does Pauli Fuamana's spirit in the beats that still echo worldwide. Until next time, keep the music alive and bye for now.